Okay, everything looks good. Looks like you just need a couple fillings and then you should be good to go. What? Fillings? There's no way I need fillings. My teeth don't even hurt. Well, yeah, if you look at these x-rays, you can see that there's some decay starting to form and we want to take care of that before it gets any worse. Can I just wait on these? Well, yeah, you don't have to get them right away, but the risk is... Yeah, yeah, I'll just wait on them. Thanks. Uh, okay. How many times have you been to the dentist and heard you might need a filling, but uh, I'm just going to wait on this? Oh, just me? Today I'm going to go over why you would need a filling in the first place. And I'm also going to go over why sometimes you can actually wait before getting a filling and why other times it might be bad and what can happen if you wait too long before getting a filling. But before I do that, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel below. Let's get into it. Most of the time, the reason you need a filling is because you have a cavity. A cavity is basically a hole that forms in your tooth. Now wait, how the heck does a hole randomly form in your tooth? Everyone has bacteria in their mouth. Sometimes these are good bacteria and sometimes these are bad bacteria. When you eat sugars and other carbohydrates, these bacteria like to eat and they'll eat on all the leftovers that hang around in your mouth. Now I'm talking about on a microscopic level. You're, you're not going to actually see this happening. And after these bacteria eat, they do what anyone else would do. They poop. But unlike people, these bacteria poop out acids. Now your teeth are strong, but they don't like these acids. And over time, these acids will demineralize your teeth and cause a hole to form. This is why a dentist would recommend a filling in the first place. And the way that would work is the dentist would remove that decay using a drill, make sure that hole is nice and clean, and put a filling. But what if you never got a filling? What if you just walked around with a hole in your tooth? Well, it's not just an empty hole. Those bacteria that cause that hole to form don't go away. They actually grow in number. And the longer you wait, the more that decay spreads and the bigger that hole gets. Now, what if it's just a small cavity? How long do you have before it turns into a giant hole? Well, that's actually hard to say because everyone's different. Everyone has different genes. Some people's teeth are stronger. Some people's teeth are weaker. And everyone has a different environment that their teeth are around. Sometimes people have different diets that are more likely to get cavities. And it also depends on how people are actually taking care of their teeth. You know, are they brushing and flossing every day or are they just brushing once a week? But I will say it may be quicker than you think. At first, a cavity grows relatively slow because it has to break through the enamel first before it can get in the inside of your tooth. Your enamel is the outer covering of your tooth and it basically protects the rest of the tooth. Once those bacteria break through the enamel, it reaches the dentin, which is the inner layer of your tooth. Your dentin is a lot weaker than your enamel and once those bacteria get in here, it can spread a lot faster. So the way that would look like is, let's say you have a cavity on the biting surface of your tooth. Your cavity is going to start forming in a pit or a groove, and it's going to slowly form until it gets into that dentin. And once it's in the dentin, it's going to start spreading rapidly. So it's going to look like a small cavity from the outside, but once you get in there, you're going to see a lot of decay. That's why when a dentist is drilling out decay, it looks like they're removing a lot of the tooth structure, when really, they're removing just enough to remove all that decay. Now let's say you keep waiting, what could happen? So that decay is going to keep spreading and eventually it's going to get close to that nerve that supplies your tooth. At this point, it's probably going to be pretty painful, so you're probably going to visit your dentist regardless. But if you keep waiting, eventually that decay is going to get to your nerve and now you're looking at a root canal because your entire tooth is now infected. And after you get a root canal, your tooth is going to need a crown because every time you get a root canal, your tooth gets weaker because you're literally destroying the blood supply to the tooth. You're literally killing the tooth, unless it's already dead. So you put a crown on it to prevent the tooth from breaking. Now, this is going to cost you. A root canal and a crown are pricey procedures. And if you can't afford it, then you're going to lose the tooth. And all this could have been avoided if you got that filling right away. But when can you wait on a filling? Sometimes a dentist will put a watch or an observe on a tooth, basically saying we're going to monitor it over time. This is usually when it looks like there may be some decay forming, but it hasn't reached that point where it really needs a filling yet. And the reason it wouldn't need a filling is, if you have a cavity that's forming that's really small, sometimes it can stop itself and not actually spread to your dentin. In other words, the cavity that's forming can be reversed. But this relies a lot on the patient too. If you're coming to the dentist every six months and you're taking good care of your teeth at home, you know, you're brushing every day and you're flossing every day, then we have a better chance of monitoring it every six months to see how it changes. But if you're one of those patients that only comes to the dentist every five years or only comes when their teeth are hurting, then we're more likely to fill that because we don't know when we're going to see you again. So can you wait to get a cavity filled? I would say sometimes you can, you know, if it's a smaller cavity and there's really not much else going on, I would be okay bringing you back in six months to fill it then. 
But if it's a bigger cavity and it looks like it's getting closer to your nerve, I would fill that as soon as possible because the longer you wait, the closer it's getting to your nerve. And it may not hurt today, but eventually it will, or that tooth might just die on you. And if you get that filled early enough, it prevents you from needing a root canal or a crown in the future. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked that video. If you have any questions or want me to talk about anything else, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.